Happy Clean With Me Day. I will tell you that my house is in a nice state of needing some TLC today. And I was very tempted to go ahead and clean up some of the areas. But I thought, no, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to get it all on film. So I actually sat down last night and I made a list of the things that I need to make sure not to forget like um, cleaning my makeup brushes which will probably be first. You guys I have a mound of laundry in the laundry room. There's just I think every room needs a little bit of something done to it. So that is what we are doing today and I say we because my kids will be helping today. So we're going to get this video started with cleaning my makeup brushes brushes. We are going to get this clean with me started with my makeup brushes because they have been laying on my counter for two days needing to be cleaned. So for my makeup brushes I use two different things to clean them. All of my makeup brushes but my foundation brush, I use the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap in the Rose Scent. I absolutely love it. It cleans them fantastic. But also, it doesn't do a great job at cleaning my foundation brush. My foundation brush always has so much gunk on it. It's the one that requires the cleaning the most. And I came up with this idea to try the liquid coconut oil because evidently coconut oil is great for everything well evidently it's great for cleaning makeup brushes too because it cleans this foundation brush fantastic and you will see how clean it gets the brush when i run the water over the brush it's kind of like it starts clumping up and pulling off the foundation from the brush so if i could recommend something for your makeup brushes i would highly recommend the coconut oil The next task is Bella's litter box. Now, I will not say that Bella's litter box gets cleaned out once a week or twice a week. It just really depends on how much she uses it. And today was one of the days when it needed to be completely cleaned out. So I took her litter, I dumped it into the trash can, and then I just gave her a whole new litter box full of fresh litter. Cleaning task number three for the day are all of the trash cans. So it's been a few days since I've done this, so some of them have kind of piled up. So I'm just going to go to every room that has a small trash can, bring it to the main trash can in the kitchen and dump them and then put a new bag inside. Now for the bags, we use the grocery bags from Walmart and just Target anywhere that we go because we like to reuse those and not just put them directly in the recycling bin. Next, we're to the task that's my ultimate favorite, not really, which is the dishes. So we are gonna start 
with unloading and reloading the dishwasher and then we have to get to the hand washing of the dishes that I've sat in the sink for several days now. Hand washing dishes is my least favorite chore in the house so I put it off as much as I can. So after I hand wash those dishes, I am going to clean the sink because it needed it using the Mrs. Meyers Vinegar Gel Cleaner. This is my absolute favorite and then I'm going to use one of my walnut scrubbers to get all of the nasty off. order of business are my kitchen counters so I am going to go over every surface and clean it using my method anti-back spray and if there's anything on a counter that needs to be put up of course I am going to do that as well. Now moving to the bathrooms. Now I did clean the bathrooms when we got home from vacation, but I didn't clean them thoroughly. So that is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna clean the toilet using my Method toilet cleaner, and then I'm going to clean everything else using my magic cleaner made of Dawn and vinegar. Now I will tell you that I'm trying to tweak how much of this I use in my bottle, and then I plan on sharing a video over how I make this cleaner and how I clean with it. So that is coming up soon.
and in the master bathroom the tub did need to be cleaned so i did use my little magic cleaner to clean the tub and i'm telling you you guys it takes no scrubbing at all with this cleaner so i cannot wait to share it with y'all and i will say one other thing you did not see me clean the toilet in this bathroom even though i did because i really didn't think you needed two shots of a toilet to get the hint of how i cleaned it Next, we are going to knock out three tasks on my cleaning list all at one time. We are going to work on the bedrooms. And for the bedrooms, we are going to do a little bit of dusting. For the wood furniture, you guys probably know already, the Method Wood Cleaner is hands down my favorite. The smell alone is amazing. And I could sit there and smell it all day. And I'm usually not like that. I think it's the almond scent. And then after we do that, we are also going to vacuum each room. And this is the part where my kids will start helping. I don't really ask them to help on the other tasks because I just want to get in there and get it done. But they are going to help with their rooms. They're going to help me dust and vacuum and put things away and all of that.
will say this you guys very seldom when I'm filming a video do I know what the thumbnail picture will be this video is an exception Derek has wanted to spray the fabric refreshener in this room since I started cleaning it. I would turn around and I'm like, stop spraying it. So I knew that him spraying the room refreshener was going to be the intro pick for this video. Next up is laundry. Now before I share any of the laundry, I just want to share with you how I clean my microfiber cloths. I only wash the microfiber cloths together. I do not wash them with anything else on cold, on delicate cycle. Sometimes I'll dry them, sometimes I don't. It just it really just depends on if I think they need to be dried or not, but that is how I clean them. Now I'm gonna get to the laundry. Now let me tell you the best system that we have come up with for laundry. We bring three tubs in here. We don't bring four because my husband does his own laundry. One tub's for Kate, one's for Derek, and one's for me. So as we get to those clothes, we just toss them in each tub, and then that person is responsible for their laundry in their tub. It has worked fantastic. I cannot believe I did not come up with this system before recently. So that is what we're doing. We're gonna tackle all the laundry and get it put away.
And if you notice, I did not get to every single task on today's list. So the one thing that I did not cover were my floors. So I was planned on cleaning every single floor, or my husband did, and we just did not get to that today. This alone took probably like four hours to clean the entire house. So you will see in my next Clean With Me video, cleaning of the floors. So that is all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching us clean our house. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. If you are not a member of this YouTube family yet, I would love it if you would become one by clicking that little red subscribe button below. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.